when we think about how to help brands efficiently target their audiences across TV apps and devices, the real fundamental is data. Our, our aggregated first party data allows our advertisers to reach more specific audiences and then measure the reach and frequency within specific audience segments. The, those fundamental measures then can be connected to performance metrics that the marketers uh, care about. As we, we dig into that attribution measurement, we can better understand what platforms in the media mix are driving results for their business. This used to be sort of really limited to digital or streaming and other, uh, other natively digital platforms. But with the data we have in television now, the capabilities span all those platforms. John, I wanted to ask about this question of uh, interoperability, um, the way that data becomes more unified. Uh, we hear a lot of movements around that in the industry. What's your perspective on that and what's the need for that? So uh, having the ability to converge uh, impression measurement from traditional television and streaming is absolutely fundamental to informing an advertiser's strategy. So we've really been investing in how we bring the data science approach to television and bring the digital impression assets that we have in, into the same space as our television uh, measures in a way where we're really speaking to the advertiser and driving it uh, to that, the, those bottom line outcomes that they're interested in. You know, what are your thoughts about the so-called clean room, the work that BlockGraph is doing and, and the importance of that? Yeah, I think when you, you think about clean room technologies and, and solutions like double block, it's really about connecting the different data sets that, that we have uh, at Comcast with the important data that our advertisers have. The, the clean room like data protections that double block has um, really help us to facilitate deeper analysis where we know that the media measures that we're bringing uh, like ad impressions can be safely joined to outcome measures from the advertiser in a way where we're really mutually working towards the same objective, understanding how advertising uh, drives outcomes for, for our brands. And finally, John, from where you sit, there's so much going on in terms of analytics, data, measurement, um, uh, new demands from your brands, I'm sure, uh, you know, expectations that you have as a publisher, uh, big changes with the sort of the incumbent players. You know, what's going on from your perspective, you know, in this sort of big shakeup or transformation of, of measurement and where might it be going? Where do you hope it's going? I think that with, with Ineffective, we're really looking at how the converged impression data set that we get across our traditional linear inventory and our streaming inventory can drive a new way of looking at uh, video advertising as a whole. Traditionally, you may have seen separate types of measurement from uh, traditional television and digital. By creating this unified ad exposure data set, we can help advertisers understand how those, their video strategies are reaching audiences and start to work towards optimizing frequency and other levers for driving those outcomes that the advertiser ultimately cares about. Great, and, and finally, uh, you know, just tell us a little bit about um, you know, your work at Effective and interesting developments uh, in, in, you know, at the company that you're doing in, in, your, in your role there. Sure, uh, I'd love to. So we've really been focused on bringing fundamental data science to television, where traditionally we might've been grounded in traditional television research tools. We've been bringing a data science toolkit where we can use real big data assets in order to create new, new types of insights for advertisers, really bridging uh, from the metrics that they typically receive from, from streaming or digital partners into something where we're looking at all of their video strategy in, in one analysis. Finally, John, what's exciting to you in terms of uh, the space where, and there's so many moving parts, what's, what are you excited about and what are you most hopeful uh, to see happen in the new year? I think that 2022, is really gonna be a year where we, we see advertisers and media companies coming together to push, push into uh, new ways of evaluating our relationships, really getting some strategic partnerships in place where we can get to that fundamental question that we've always been trying to answer of how is my media budget impacting 
my product sales or my subscriptions or whatever the outcome for the advertiser might be. With the data we have today, we can newly unlock uh, capabilities to really focus on reaching the right audience at the right frequency to drive those outcomes.